Grenfell Tower, where hundreds of people once lived and where 72 died. Today, the commemorations at the inquiry concluded with tributes to the six remaining victims. Raymond Bernard, known as Moses, had lived at the top of the tower with his dog Marley for more than 30 years. Today, his sister Bernadette paid tribute to a hero grandfather who sheltered six people in his flat, giving them refuge as the fire consumed the block. As there was no way down to escape, the only alternative was to head towards the top floor. There they met Ray and took refuge in his flat. The positioning of the bodies of Deborah, Jessica, Berkty and Baruch were on my brother's bed, with my brother resting beside the bed on the floor. This shows the respect he gave to those who lost their lives that night, and we know that he would have given comfort to each of them before they took their last breaths and departed this world. Ray being a man, and the strongest, most probably was the last to die. He would have been so alone. My beloved Ray was my, mo was my modern day Moses, my hero. Also remembered was Sakina Afro Sahabi, a 65 year old grandmother who lived and died on the 18th floor. She was disabled and partially sighted. Her daughter believes it wasn't just the blaze that killed her, but negligence on the part of Kensington and Chelsea Council who housed her. Our mum lost her life not only to the fire that night, but to, to the corporate negligence by the very people who were to ensure her safety. The very people who said years before that she was not to be housed above the fourth floor of a lifted building. She couldn't go down 18 floors of stairs on a good day, let alone in a fire. Her human rights escape was denied even before the fire happened. Sakina's son paid tribute to a loving mother. Even though she was being surrounded by fire and smoke, she told me, don't come. In one sentence, she told me something that I couldn't find in any books. The meaning of love, unconditional love, can only come from your mother. Khadija Kalufi lived on the floor below, the 17th. Her husband survived, she didn't. Her younger brother was unable to travel from Morocco to pay tribute to her in person after delays with his visa. His solicitor read his statement on his behalf. We had been led to believe that we could be in London for the inquiry, but now that does not seem to be the case. No one seems to care about our history in relationship to this case, or to care about our pain, our heartache, and our desire for answers. Hesham Rahman, Rania Ibrahim. As the commemorations ended after seven days, the names of each of the 72 victims were read out. Gloria Trevisan. Before this stage of the inquiry was brought to a close as it had begun, with a 72 second silence in memory of those who lost their lives. Sejal Karia, News at 10.